From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Dawn breaks in the central Kalahari game reserve, home to one of the hardest to reach tribes in Botswana, the Beshawa or Bushmen. 200 kilometers away, mobile HIV testing vans set out to reach them. The journey is long, very long, but critical. We invite you. We encourage you to come and test. It's time. One quarter of the nation's population lives in remote areas with no access to health services. The closest clinic is four hours away by car, two days by donkey, their primary means of transportation. 19-year-old Galia Kongwe Amge heeds the call to get tested in tents assembled as makeshift clinics. People out there don't have that access. That's why it's very important to take the service to them. Sigametsi Segosebe heads up the mobile testing unit for Tabela Pele, Botswana's largest HIV testing organization. And mobile units like these may be especially valuable to women who often face unique obstacles to securing services, says Nazneen Damji of the UN Development Fund for Women, UNIFEM. They are caregivers and they cannot leave the house as easily as men would to be able to go to a clinic or to a hospital to get a test. Other women, she says, simply lack the funds to travel. For Galia Kongwe, the mobile units offer the opportunity to take her first HIV test. I just came to test so that I can know my status, to know whether I have the virus or not. And everything that takes place in the tent will be confidential. As she waits to get tested, the counselor questions her on the reaction of her partner should she be HIV positive. Do you think he will accept it if you tell him you have tested and your results? I don't know if he will accept or not. With him, I don't know. And acceptance is a very real concern, as many women around the world face an increased risk of violence, abuse or discrimination when they disclose their status. A lot of women will be abandoned, they will no longer have access to property, to inheritance, to all kinds of rights that are legally hers. As well as bringing testing to their doorstep, mobile tents serve as a refuge for women with such fears, a private place to get counseling and support. Something Galea Kongwe will need if she is HIV positive. In 10 minutes, she will lift this tin lid to find out. In 2008, mobile units reached 160,000 people, and by year's end, an astonishing 95% of the population had been tested. But despite increased testing and subsequent treatment, not everyone is getting the needed drugs. And experts say women continue to be at greater risk as access to medical treatment is not always available. Women like Loma Butlofi, who two years ago was diagnosed with HIV in a mobile tent. They told me I was positive. They told me to come to the clinic. I couldn't get transport until I felt sick. As for Galia Kongwe, back in the tent, the 10 minutes are up. Her results are ready. In a moment, her life could change forever. I am scared. You are waiting for me to take the lid off? Yes. Do you understand them? Yes, I do. Negative. Testing, the first step toward knowing for so many women. And a major step in helping Botswana reach universal access to HIV services.
This report was produced by Susan Forbes and Lee Devine for the United Nations.